All right, let's kick it off with what everybody is talking about in improving U.S. economy and indications this week the Federal Reserve may be leaning closer to raising rates. Provide the backdrop for the big central bank gathering in the Grand Tetons of Wyoming. Uh, we've been on the edge of our seats for Chair Janet Yellen's big speech. If you're looking for something new from Janet Yellen that's going to change the debate or move markets, you didn't get it here today. Oh, boo-hoo, but... We should know better. The dovish Janet Yellen has been advocating continued stimulus rather than a sudden move higher. Like Mike said, no surprise for investors today. Janet Yellen begins her speech by making the case that the labor market still needs improvement. But how much or how the Fed might accomplish that is a very tricky question. Here's a quote. As the recovery progresses, assessments of the degree of remaining slack in the labor market need to become more nuanced because of the considerable uncertainty about the level of employment consistent with the Federal Reserve's dual mandate. Okay, translation. The economy is doing better. But there is still slack in the labor market, excess capacity that's just not being used. Honestly, investors were really more focused on overseas issues today, Iraq and Ukraine. But remember, there's uh, something still hanging in the backdrop at Jackson Hole. And I'm not talking about the scenery. This is the beginning of the financial crisis right here. And here's the doom and gloom. We're all going to die, Lehman low, as it's called. And then up we go. And this will be the big debate. Just oh, yeah. And one more thing. There's the correction, right? Right. This is right. the correction. This is the the 4.2 percent of two weeks ago. Quick, we're all gonna die. There you have it. All right, the stock market, despite all the uh, global tension and even the prospect of a Fed exit, it's still on an upward trajectory. Right. The S&P 500 hit another record yesterday. The Nasdaq is at its highest level since uh, the 2000 tech bubble. Um, options traders, though, they say beware. Uh, the gains have uh, pushed them back to uh, make their bearish bets on tech stocks, and this is according to Bloomberg data.